Okay, here we are at the uh, Fish in the Ponderé River today. Uh, we're going to start on the south side of the river and kind of work our way up towards the dam. Um, it's the middle of October, it's fall, so we've got a lot of leaves changing. Okay, here's a little story about this river. I was down here fishing one time. It was a couple years ago, December, it was super cold. So cold that when you reel in your line, the water from the line was caking up on the top eye and just icing up big time. So anyway, this guy comes up in a boat. He's doing a survey about the fish here because uh, we have a bull trout up here and it's protected species, but anyway. Um, so the survey was he would go up and they would shock the fish and they would, you know, check them and kind of count fish and all that. But then he tells me, hey, down over by the dam, there's some rainbows in there that are this big. And he went like this, this big. And I looked at him, I'm all, this big? He's like, man, they're this big. So uh, anyway, he goes in, we have a, a quick talk. He does a quick survey and he takes off. He takes off to the boat launch, which is right across the river from me. So I'm sitting there, I'm casting, maybe on my second cast, I catch a really nice brown, maybe about this big. And uh, he, you know, he's out of his boat, kind of backing up his trailer, and I wanted to yell to him and show him my fish, but I didn't want to scream, you know, scare the other fish. Put that uh, brown on a leader, went maybe two more casts, and I caught a rainbow about this big. So today, that's what we're going after. Some nice big browns, some nice big rainbows. You know, we'll see how it goes, but um, welcome to Outdoor Destinations PNW. Let's do some fishing. Okay, so we stopped walking up the river. It's, it's really, really calm. And what we're seeing is we're seeing some rings on top of the water. Usually what that is is the trout are coming up and just kind of eating whatever they can off the surface or just poking up to say hello. Uh, what we got over here, there's a little uh, corner, a little crook in the river, and there's some uh, structure there. There's a sunken tree. So right out off the point of that tree, where there's a couple rings, and right out behind me, there's been some rings. So we're gonna try this spot here real quick, see if we can hook up the fish. And then, uh, while well, my dog goes nuts running around in the water. Hey, miss. So yeah, right right here behind me looks pretty good. Then we're gonna kind of work our way up over towards that, that log right there and see if we can catch a trout. You recording? Mm-hmm. All right, so we got our first hookup of the day. It was right here past the other side of the truck. There it goes. All right, looks like, looks like a little rainbow. Let me get my net out. Out, miss. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's got a little rainbow on here. Caught him on a cast master. He was out there making the making the ring, so I just kind of aimed where he was. Miss, look out. Miss, get back. Just gonna let him wear himself out here real quick and we'll bring him in and show him to you. There he goes. Come on. Yeah, he's just a little one. We're going to end up throwing this one back because uh, we're going for his parents. Yeah, there we go. There's a nice rainbow right off the bat. We've only been here maybe about 10, 20 minutes. I think we're going to have a pretty good day here. So, all right, there's number one. We'll keep going. All right, here's the first little guy of the day. Like I said, just a little rainbow. Um, we're gonna toss him back here quickly and keep on going. Oh, he's as quick as he wants to be. There he goes. All right, well, let's catch some more. Okay, here we are. Just moved to a new spot. First cast, and we're on. Feels like a pretty decent fish. 
Oh yeah, baby, come on. Yeah, that feels good. Because this cast, I mean, I casted it out, it hit the water, and that fish nailed it. You can see he is reluctant to uh, come over here and get in the net. Speaking of, let me get my net ready. Ah. You don't want to give him any slack. You always want to keep your line tight, especially when they start jumping around. They try to jump up and shake that thing right out of their mouth. It seems like a pretty decent fish here today. Come on, baby. It's low and slow. I think it's a rainbow. Anyone want to make a bet? Rainbow or brown? A brown, I think it'd be jumping a little bit more. There's smallmouth bass here, right? There are smallmouth bass in here. There are largemouth bass. There's pike. Whatever this is, probably going home with us. <laughs> I think it's either a small mouth or you're snagged. Oh, I ain't snagged. You're not snagged? No, trees don't usually fight back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Michael, want to grab that net? Yeah. Okay, we're getting closer. Oh, yeah, it's oh, nice. Yeah. Nice rainbow down there. See him shine? Can you see him on the camera? Let's not lose him. Let's get him up. Oh, there he goes. Oh yeah, good looking fish. Okay, I'm gonna try to get him in. Just scoop him out. He's gonna get pissed when he sees you and try, probably try to run. Let's try to get him. Good fish. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, get that thing in here. Wow! Now that is a nice fish. Okay, so here's a, a rainbow trout. I got to say he's probably about three, four pounds. I don't have a scale on me. But, um, yeah, that's, that's more about what we're looking for right there. Get the hook out of his mouth. Get him on the leader and we'll give him you got a better shot of them. Okay, so Michael's got a hook up here. Looks like a pretty nice one. Saw it jump. Get it away from that rock. He's going to want to drag you on that rock and wrap you around it. So yeah, there's his line is right up against that. He's probably trying to go to the other side of it. Oh, oh, nice jump. I got that. Oh, Jake, grab the backpack and get the camera, would you? I mean the uh, net. All right, Michael. Ooh, that looks like a nice one. Looks like uh that one looks like a brown. Do you need the whole backpack or just the net? Just the net. Oh, good picture. I got him. Nice fish. Look at that. That's a nice big old brown. Okay, nice and slow. They're aggressive. He's going to want to run when he sees you, Jake. There he goes. Don't, don't hold your pole straight. Give it the bend. He's, that way you'll have to fight against the pole and he won't break your line. Good fish, look at that, that boy. Yes, another nice fish. That's, well, man, I'd say that's a good three, four pounder also. It's heavy. Good one. All right, let's get him off of there. Yeah, and... Mike. Okay, so this is my favorite spot on the river. Um, I can find this spot because there's a log. It's submerged right now and it used to be a lot more prominent, but it's right down there in the water. It kind of runs this way along the bank. So I was fishing here one day and I threw out and I'm reeling in and something just, bam! I mean, it hit my line like, like a truck. 
and I went to go set the hook and it bam bam gave me two just super violent tugs and was gone. Never saw it, don't know what it was. I could have hooked into a beaver. I don't know, but it was, it was big. And so I always come back to this spot hoping to get that same, same reaction again or maybe even pull in that thing that hit my line that day. But, uh, you know, we've had a great day today, man. We've all caught fish. We've caught some really nice fish. They're gonna barbecue up nicely. Um, yeah, this is the secret spot. I'm sure a lot of people who live around here and end up watching this video are gonna go, yeah, I know where that guy is. But uh, it doesn't matter where you're at. It's how you how you fish it. So let's see if see what we can do. Okay, so Jake's just got his hook up, and he's got one on the ultralight. Um, so he's got a challenge. He's got light line and a small lure, and of course a tiny pole. Looks like another nice brown. Just let him fight. Let him fight. He's still got lots of fight in him. Nice fish, Jake. Let's see if we can get him. Better picture. There we go. Yeah, just let him tire himself out. Keep that, yep, keep his line tight. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mike, you got the net? I got it, it's in my hand. Okay, nice brown, buddy. And that, we're using a spinner for this one. Okay, hold on. Let me try to get up underneath them. Oh, almost. Maybe we need a bigger net for today. There we go. Sweet. There we go. Look at that. Nice. Good fish. A little smaller than the other ones, but still a good fish. Good job, Jake. Thanks. Right on. Looks <laughs> like we're all getting one today. We're having a hell of a good day. Let's take them up and get this hook out. All right. I'm just going to tell you all a little bit about what we're using here on the Ponderay today to catch these uh, browns and rainbows. So, the lure of the day has been this Castmaster with like the rainbow trout color. Um, you know, I've used this lure a lot, caught a lot of fish on this one, it does really well. It cast out really far, so nice heavy bodied. Um, on the retrieve, you want to let it sink, I don't know, I give it about a three second, five second count, click the bail, pull my slack, and then when I pull, when I'm reeling it in, I'm just giving it slight jerks, so it kind of moves through the water erratically. That seems to trigger some good strikes. Uh, another lure we're using today on the ultralight is a spinner. Um, again, this has got a lot of weight in the head there. It's got a nice long spinner um, With this one You don't really want to cast upstream with these because you have to fish or reel in really really quick in order to make the uh, The blade start spinning so you want to cast out right out in front of you or just slightly downstream and uh, Once it lands in there let it sink pull in your slack and you'll feel that Spinner engage because you'll feel a little bit of resistance on your line um, Michael's pull well We'll look at Michael's pole when Michael gets back. He went to go tie the fish off today. Um, but he's also using a Castmaster. I think he's using a gold Castmaster. It's a bit overcast today, so gold is a good color. If we have some sunshine, we want something with a little more um, sparkle to it, a little more ref reflectiveness to attract the fish better. But anyway, that's kind of what we're using here today, and yeah, we're doing pretty good. Okay, so we're having a really good day so far fishing. We've only been down here a couple hours, and I think it's because of the rainbow, or rain dot, more like, sitting up there in the sky. You can see the reflection of it on the water and everything. That is pretty interesting. I think I'm moved yep, down. There we are, right there. What do you think about that, miss? Huh? Okay, so one thing you don't want to do while you're fishing down the river is park right next to the river. I've been here 10 minutes, and would you look at this? Ridiculous. Man, some some people. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Uh, we're done fishing on the Ponderay River today. We had a really great day. We caught a lot of fish. Uh, we kept the two browns. We let the rainbows go. Um, you know, I hope the video helps you out. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, one thing I gotta remind everybody, I've never done this in a video, but please like, subscribe, share, all that stuff you're supposed to do for YouTube videos. I'd appreciate it. And we'll keep bringing you more. 
Uh, we're going to do another fishing video closer towards the dam. Uh, there's a bunch of riprap down there, uh, just different techniques and uh, hopefully catch some bigger fish. Um, I'm here today with my sons Jake and Mike. Um, man, you know, like I always say, I knew it would be a good day because uh, I'm here with family, here with good people. You don't have to love fishing, it's just a really cool places you get to go and the awesome people you get to hang out with. Uh, thanks again, we'll see you next time on Outdoor Destinations PNW. Yeah, that's perfect. I was just making weird faces the whole time. No, you weren't. <laughs> <laughs>